Back with you in the post game here with head coach Ed Hoddle, and and obviously we just saw what happened: big 35-21 victory over Salisbury. Just take me through it emotionally, first of all. It was a very emotional game between two in-state schools. Well, we talked about it at halftime. I thought we rode the wave a little bit in the first half, and uh, you know, being able to control the highs and control the lows, and you know, just go out and handle your business. You know, we, we, that was the, my big message at halftime: was just do your job. Let the the game will come to us, and and fortunately we were able to. to come out in the second half and you know and respond you know we, we, we shot ourselves in the foot a little bit a couple of bad penalties here and there but um, you know the guys did a great job managing the emotion of the game and, and fortunately we were able to come out on top so so let's take our fans through it then and we'll pick it up at halftime it was back and forth in the first half 21 21 was the score at the half second half they had run for 240 whatever yards in the first half you guys held them to 38 yards rushing in the second half but that's not even the biggest story the biggest story was the takeaways talk to me about the resilience of that defense and how they came away with that football well I think if you know when you when you play teams that run the triple um, the game plan is going to come to you, right? You, you can't replicate the speed of what's going on in practice. Um, and the, the turnover piece, the takeaway piece for us is something we work on all the time. We work, we drill it, you know, a couple times, several times a week. And, um, you know, it, so it wasn't necessarily surprising to see our guys, you know, working to take the ball away. You saw it on almost every tackle. But, you know, I think the game plan came to us. Um, Coach Hollings did a phenomenal job this week working, working that stuff. And, um, you know, just really – it doesn't surprise me. You know, I heard some guys after the game talking about, you know, shock the world. I, I'm not shocked. You know, I think this is a good football team, and I think the sky's the limit for us. Now, you coached the triple options it, back, back, back in your earlier job, so you are familiar with it. What's the key to defending that triple option? Simplicity. Um, you know, you, 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 you assign guys to one of the three ball carriers, and you put them on the ground every play, and that's what you have to do. And, you know, they're very multiple, um, and they got us on a couple things today and had some big plays, And uh, but that's to be expected. You've got to, again, kind of weather that storm a little bit and weather that emotion and know that, you know, you got to go out and you got to play again, and you've got to do just that job, and that is your job all day long. And, you know, our guys did a great job executing the second half. Let's talk a little bit about the offense. Obviously, they put up 35 points, so they deserve something. Something too. Uh, Sedgwick had a couple picks in that second half under some duress, but a very patient offense. Didn't get a lot of yards on the ground, but got key yards, especially in the second half. Well, they, they've got a great front. You know, they, it's it's funny they actually run the exact same defense that we normally do. Um, same terminology, same coverage, same fronts. Everything is the same. Um, so you know. Obviously, our offense has seen our defense in all through camp, um, which we felt, you know, helped us a great deal. Um, you know, and we got the yards when we needed to get them, you know, particularly in the running game, you know, particularly late to close it out. You know, that, that's a tough spot, right? You're up seven, you know, you potentially facing a fourth down. You got a snap and a hold and a kick. You got to execute to put it away. So, you know, again, getting crucial plays in, in crucial times was, was a big can't let the interview go by without talking about the offensive line, especially on Sedgwick's touchdown passes. He had a chance to step up. He had all the time in the world. Ben Blum did a great job on his guy. But that O-line gave him a clean pocket pretty much most of the game. Yeah, you know, Coach Mahoney does a great job with those guys every day. You know, it's probably the hardest working group, in, in, you know, that we have here. You know, w what they go through on a daily basis and, you know, not – you, you know, I, I don't know how they do it because it's it, it, it isn't a whole lot of fun. Some of the things that, that they do over there. So, you know, I think I, I'd like to mention. You know, obviously, Maddie Nelson today, you know, was was one of our honorary was our honorary captain, and and mom and dad were able to be here, and it was, you know, really e emotional for me pregame that they were able to be here. I think this is one of her first outings in some time, and um, just really exciting for the guys to be able to see and. Um, you know, just a great day all around for, for our program. And Maddie Nelson won the opening toss, so that was a good harbinger of things to come. You know, I, I, I hats off to Salisbury. You know, they let her call it, you know, which, yeah. you know, they didn't have to do. And I think that, um, you know, they showed great sportsmanship there. And, and, and hats off to Coach Wood and his program, for sure. If, if it's possible, should this game try to be played more often? Because it's almost impossible to imagine that this was the first time these two schools ever played. I think the defensive staff might all quit. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you know, Coach Wood and I have gone back and forth over the years as far as, you know, trying to match up the home and the way. And um, I told him, give me a call Monday, and it may be something we look at down the road. All right, sounds good. Listen, 2-0 and sounds pretty good. Congrats. Thank you. Long way to go, but you're off to a good start. Thanks very much. Yep. On GoMustangSports.tv.